isomorphous binary phase diagram. So the easiest type of binary phase diagram that we're going to start with is probably the copper nickel system. So basically it's just a diagram um, with temperature plotted along all these coordinates and we have composition in weight percent or at the top one in atomic percent okay so the temperature can be provided in either degree celsius or degree fahrenheit so the composition actually ranges from zero percent of nickel here zero weight percent of nickel and to 100 weight percent of nickel going from the left to the right and as for the copper it is going from um, the right to the left in which this part we have zero percent of copper and this is hundred percent of copper okay um, the liquid L here is a homogeneous liquid solution which composed of both copper and nickel and the alpha phase here the bottom one is a substitutional solid solution which consists of both copper and nickel atoms and has an FCC crystal structure so these are the two lines liquidus line and solidus line and anything on top of this liquidus line they are all liquid and anything at the bottom of this solidus line they are all in FCC solid solution and in between this liquidus and solidus we have a combination of liquid and FCC solid solution so just don't get confused with phases and phase fields phases are just either liquid or solid phase fields we can have liquid the solid and the combination of both okay I would like to highlight something here as you can see that the solidus and this liquidus line they actually intersect at two here one and two two composition extremes in which these correspond to the melting temperatures of the pure components for example the melting temperatures of pure copper okay and nickel are 1085 and 1453 degrees Celsius respectively. So this is the melting temperature of copper and this is the melting temperature of nickel. This is when 100% of copper, uh, this is where we, we find 100% of copper and this is where we find 100% of nickel. So at this temperature, all of the copper will be in liquid okay and at this temperature all of the nickel will be in liquid okay there are three things that we can actually obtain from looking at a phase diagram the first one is of course we we can uh, figure out what are the phases present okay is it just liquid or is it just solid or is it you know both liquid and solid and the second one is we can we should be able to figure out the composition of the phases um, meaning the composition of the liquid or the composition of the solid phase and the third one is we should be able to work out the percentages of fractions of the phases based on either 30 38 percent of nickel or 68 percent of copper but um, there is a problem when, um, you know, previously we discussed on how to find the composition of either nickel or copper in either liquid or solid. But what happened if we are asked to find the composition at this phase field, at the phase field of L plus alpha, liquid plus alpha, it's not that simple. So how do you find the composition in a two-phase region? Um, let's say this, 
region here, alpha plus liquid. So we have a few steps here. So the first one is if you need to locate the composition and temperature in the diagram. So let's say they ask you to locate the composition of maybe 32% of nickel and a given temperature. And this composition and temperature, temperature is actually located in that two-phase region. And the second one is... Um, you, we need to draw a tie line or what we call as isotherm. I will show you in the next slide how you can do this. And the third one is <clears throat> note the intersection with, uh, of this tie line with the face boundaries and read the compositions at both intersections. And the liquid and the solid face will have these compositions which intersect at the liquidus and the solidus line. Okay, this is what I call a tie line, or also know, known as an isotherm. Now, this blue line here is tie line, right? So, it's a horizontal line, which is X and Y, um, drawn in the two-phase region, and the intercept on the liquidus, so this is the liquidus, and this is the solidus. Liquidus and the solidus line are taken as the composition of the liquid and solid respectively. So let's say you have, you need to work out um, the composition of given here, C0. Alright, so you just go up straight. Temperature, let's say T0. So from here to here. So this dot here, what you have to do is you draw a tie line like this. It has to be a straight line. So this is your tie line and it has to intersect at the liquidus line and the, sorry, and the solidus line. So this is the composition of the liquid and this is the composition of the solid. Okay, let's look at this binary isomorphous system of nickel and copper. Okay, I'm going to show you how we can actually work out the composition at three different points, point A, point B, and point D. Okay, so this system composed of three phase fields. First one is 100% completely liquid. And next is 100% completely solid. And the other one is the binary uh, fill, which composes both liquid and solid. Okay, let's look at point number A, in which the original, the given composition is C0 equals to 35% of nickel at a certain temperature Ta. Okay, so the question asks us to find what is the composition, what is the phase present and the composition at 35% nickel at Ta. So this is point A. So the phase present is definitely just liquid. Liquid and the composition is because liquid is the only uh, phase present. So the composition is just Simply 35% of nickel. Okay, how about point D? Let's look at point D. Point D is um, given the same original composition, 35% of nickel, but different temperature at a certain uh, TD temperature. So at this TD temperature at 35% with percent of nickel, we have point D here, and D is located only in the alpha region or the solid region. So we can say that at point D, okay, only solid phase present, solid phase, okay, and the composition of D is 35 with percent of nickel. Because this is the only composition that present. Whereas at point B here, okay, point B we cannot just simply take 35% because we're not sure whether this is, um, the 35 is, is it liquid or solid? This is definitely wrong. So 
we have to make a tie line okay since this is a, a combination both of liquid and solid so we have to draw a tie line here which will intercept at the liquidus line and the solidus line so the intersection between this point and the liquidus line is the composition of the liquid all right which is uh, okay at b both l plus a uh, solid present and for the liquid it is around 32 with percent of nickel and for the solid the solid the tie line has to intercept with the solidus line and the composition of this intersection is 43 weight percent so for the solid it's 43 weight percent of nickel so there you go we are finally able to work out the composition of nickel in weight percent at point a point b and point d given temperatures and the original composition